I'm Annalise. And I'm Cicely. And we're here to inform you about ecotourism in Savannah. So the Savannah is located between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. So this means it's basically an area between a rainforest and a desert. In Savannah, the soil fertility is typically low and there's not enough rainfall to support big forests. And so an example of this would be the Serengeti. Um, the Serengeti has many ecosystems and habitats within it, but one of them is the savanna. There are several different options on where you can stay in the savanna. There are private and public camp campgrounds that you can stay at or lodges depending on what you want to experience. Um, you also want to plan accordingly. You don't want to come in the months of April or May because that's when they get their heaviest rainfall. When you look at pictures of the savanna, you usually see a few isolated trees, but a bunch of grass. And that's why it's called the rolling grassland. Yeah. And the reason why the acacia population is controlled is because of the keystone species, the African bush elephant. In this amazing animation that I definitely didn't make on PowerPoint, you can see just how the African elephant controls the acacia tree population in the savanna. With the tree population controlled, the grasses thrive and can sustain grazing animals um, such as gazelles or zebras and stuff like that. These elephants are so important to the savanna ecosystem, but their conservation status is vulnerable right now. And a huge part of that is humans because we're killing them for their tusks. Yeah. So maybe to help this, we can set up hunting regulations or just don't hunt them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and in the wild, they're not naturally hunted either. So they're not really used to being hunted. Um, it's also really hard for them to reproduce quickly because they're pregnant for so long. The primary producers in the tropical savanna include red oak grass and elephant grass. There are a few tree species as well, such as the baobab and the acacia tree. Um, the consumers that eat these trees and plants um, are elephants and zebras and gazelles and stuff like that. Um, secondary consumers include cheetahs and hyenas. And there's not many tertiary consumers um, except the vultures that eat the dead animals. There are many fun activities you can do in the savanna, like taking a safari. Not a hunting safari. No, just one to observe the animals in their natural habitat. And you're also, you can also take a helicopter ride over a savanna and see its beauty and how the animals interact with each other and how they interact with the environment. Mm -hmm.